Hey, what is going on guys? So I have a iPhone here. It says iPhone is disabled. Connect to iTunes. We're going to go ahead and get this phone back up and running. The reason why you get this message is because you put in the password way too many times, the wrong password. I mean, you did it or your kid did it. Now the thing is, what we're going to do is we're going to hook this up to iTunes. It doesn't matter if it's on a MacBook or a regular Windows PC. All right, as long as you have iTunes installed on the computer, now this method is only going to work for the iPhone 10, 10s, 10s Max, and the iPhone 10R because it's a different key combination that you have to do opposed to the prior iPhone models. So what we're going to do here is a restore. In other words, we're doing a factory reset. So everything that is on this phone right now is going to be deleted. My videos, photos, everything is going to be long gone. So hopefully you have a backup. Now, I actually never backed up this phone, but I don't really have that much important stuff on here. Anyways, I need to use the phone again, so let's go ahead and get this up and running. Remember, factory reset or restore, you're going to lose everything. Once everything is complete, it's going to be like a brand new phone where I just took out of the box and I have to go through the setup process. So what do you need? Well, you need a phone, you need a computer with iTunes, and you need the charging cable to your iPhone. Now, I'm going to show you exactly how all of this works, okay? So first thing is go ahead and plug in your phone. And then the USB part, you want to plug it into your computer. I'm going to pop it in right now. All right, so the next thing that we have to do is put the phone into DFU mode, okay? And how we're going to do that now, it's all plugged into the computer. Now we got to do is press three buttons, okay? It's going to be the volume up, volume down, and then press and hold the power button until we see the iTunes logo, okay? So follow along with me right here, ready? Volume up, volume down, press and hold the power button. Do not let go. The phone's going to go ahead and reboot, and then we're going to see the Apple logo, and we're still going to hold on to the power button. I'm not going to let go until I see that iTunes logo pop popping up, okay? Just wait. I'm still holding it. I'm still holding it. I'm not going to let go. If you let go now, it's just going to go ahead and show that disabled um, screen again. So just keep holding. Okay, now I can let go. Now this is what you sh now this is what you should see here. Okay, well usually something is supposed to pop up my screen asking to like do a restore and update, but nothing is happening here. Let me just go ahead and open up iTunes then and see what happens. Let me open this up. And okay, cool. All right, so I had to open up iTunes. That's weird. I never had to do that before. Usually with, with the program closed, once it gets to the um, this iTunes logo, this message here will pop up. Anyways, it says here there is a problem with the iPhone that requires it to be updated or restored. Okay, so from here what we want to do is we want to click on Restore. And I'll show you my phone here. And it says here, are you sure you want to restore the iPhone called iPhone to its factory settings? You're basically going to lose all of your data. And it's going to be installed with the newest version of iPhone software uh, that will be installed on this iPhone. Okay, so I'm going to click right here, Restore and Update. And now it says Extracting up here. Okay, now it just rebooted my phone here. And it says preparing iPhone for restore. Now we get a status bar on my phone here, as you can see. Okay, looks like my phone's about to reboot. I get a new message here. Uh, your phone has been restored to factory settings and it is restarting. Okay, so it's restarting right now. And now we see another status bar again. Okay, now this message here popped up on my computer here. It says activation lock. This iPhone is linked to an Apple ID. Yes, I did put an Apple ID on this phone here. Enter the Apple ID and password. Click on continue. Okay, I think that was the password. Okay, so this new screen here popped up. It says, welcome to your new iPhone. Would you like to set this phone up as a new iPhone or restore all of its contents from a previous backup? I don't have a backup on this phone, so I have no choice but to set it up as a new phone. So let me tap on that right there and I'm gonna go ahead and click on continue. And it says right here, sync with iTunes. I'll go ahead and click on get started. 
And, well, wow, okay, so I'm right at the beginning screen right here on my phone here. It says, hola, as if I just bought my phone and took it out of the box and started up. Let me go ahead and go ahead and unplug it now. And now let's go ahead and get this started. And then from here, I had to set it up as a new iPhone, so I'll tap on set up as new iPhone. I'll go ahead and agree to this. Welcome to iPhone. Swipe up to get started. And there we go, guys. I am back in business. Well, there you guys go. If you guys have any issues or any errors, if you have any errors, just comment below. I've gone through like many, many errors in the past by restoring or factory resetting these iPhones. So there you guys go. Guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.